Hey everyone, my name is Drew. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so excited to sing and praise God with all of you. Let's stand up and sing this song together. Great job singing today. These songs remind us that Jesus is always with us no matter what, and reminds me of what we are talking about this month. Resilience. Resilience is getting up when something gets you down. Our story today starts with a man named Paul. Paul had once been an enemy of anyone who followed Jesus. In fact, he did everything he could to try to stop people from believing in Jesus. Things changed quickly when Paul actually met Jesus though. He suddenly put his faith in Jesus and believed that Jesus really is the Son of God. After a time of prayer and study, Paul began to travel further from Jerusalem to share the good news about Jesus. In some places, Paul was welcomed, but in other towns, people were angry and kicked him out of town. Still, Paul kept going. When God told Paul to go to a place called Macedonia, Paul and his friends set sail on a boat and traveled there. Paul and his companions landed in a city of Philippi. In Philippi, a woman named Lydia put her faith in Jesus. Her home became the location where the new followers of Jesus in the area became a church. One day, Paul was on his way to the place of prayer along with his friend Silas. As Paul and Silas walked along, they were met by a woman who was acting strangely. This woman followed them around and kept shouting, these men serve the most high God. They were telling you how to be saved. The woman's words were true, but she was being controlled by a spirit who did not come from God. Finally, Paul turned to the woman and said, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. The spirit left the woman, but there was a problem. Some men had been using this woman to make money for them. 
Since she had been freed by the power of Jesus, they could no longer do this. The men grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face the judges. They said that Paul and Silas were making trouble, so they were thrown in prison. The jailer put Paul and Silas deep inside the prison. Now think about this for a second. These poor guys hadn't done anything wrong. They were just telling people the good news about Jesus. Then they healed a woman, and now they were stuck behind bars. Paul and Silas could have complained or whined about what had happened to them, but you know what? They didn't do that. Paul and Silas chose to pray and sing to God. Can you believe it? Now get this, while Paul and Silas prayed and sang, something amazing happened. An earthquake shook the prison and the doors flew open and everyone's chains became loose. When the earthquake happened, the jailer woke up. He saw that the prison doors were wide open. He thought the prisoners had escaped, which would mean big trouble for him. He was very worried. But Paul shouted, don't worry, we're all still here. The jailer was amazed at these men who didn't try to escape. He could tell that there was something different about Paul and Silas. He asked them, what must I do to be saved? Listen to what Paul and Silas told him. Believe in the Lord Jesus, then you and everyone in your house will be saved. Paul and Silas told the jailer about Jesus and how to follow him. The jailer took Paul and Silas into his own home and he took care of their wounds. Paul and Silas shared the truth about Jesus with everyone in the house and all of them were baptized. The judges released Paul and Silas and said they were very sorry. After all this, Paul and Silas returned to Lydia's home. They took time to encourage all believers who were gathered there. It's pretty amazing how Paul and Silas chose joy in the middle of an awful situation. And you know what? That's something we can do as well. We can find a way to be joyful even when we're facing some tough times. Remember, you can choose joy when life gets hard. Let's pray and ask God to help us do that right now. Dear God, thank you for this amazing story. Thank you for helping Paul and Silas choose joy even when they were going through a really tough time. Please show us how we can do the same thing when we face tough times in life. Give us the strength to remember that you can be with us no matter what. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today as we learn about resilience. Be sure to have your family head over to our website at crosspointweb.org family for more information on how to sign up for the Parent Q app. The app gives you many different ideas to connect with the story you heard today and connect as a family. And don't forget to have your family subscribe to the Crosspoint YouTube channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.